Heads up, we make adult reviews for adult gamers. Howdy, everybody. How y'all doing? Hey, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I'm getting one or two little things tweaked just to make it a little nicer of a stream. I hope everybody's having a good night. It's been a minute since we live streamed, hasn't it? We've been incredibly busy. And our equipment's been misbehaving. Yeah, I like part of the reason I haven't been live streaming as much is because I'm having some severe issues with getting all of our equipment to work. Like, because I'm currently running stereo mics, two webcams, yada yada yada, and it isn't performing nicely with my computer. So I'm going to be spending some time upcoming soon getting it all unfucked, as it were, and trying to figure it out. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. Tonight we're going to be playing Ivian, which is a cool, uh, I guess LCG is probably the best term for it, living card game, um, designed by, I think it's Ashlyn Hall. She is supposed to be tuning in at some point tonight to come answer some questions. So Ashlyn, if and when you get in the chat, let us know. But in any case, this is an LCG, kind of like Netrunner, things like that. And what I mean by LCG is every card in the game is available to all players. It's not like Magic the Gathering where you have to buy booster packs and hope for a rare or something like that. In this box right here are over 800 cards. So it's enough. I believe it's enough. Don't quote me on this. But I, I think it's enough for four players to make decks out of. I know at least two. And you can have multiple copies of cards and stuff like that. There is a ton of variety in this game. Um, your decks are mainly composed of, uh, what exactly do they call them? I think it's classes and then specializations. So yeah, here we go. Choose specializations and classes. And basically, well, I'll set this up here if you can see it. Hopefully the glare isn't too bad. Um, specializations are going to be more of your power cards and stuff like that, where classes are going to be your base cards. And you can kind of... You combine the two, you can combine two classes and a specialization so that you can build a completely custom deck. Now, as for the decks that we're going to be using tonight, Rachel is using one of the starter decks. It's the Winterborn, I think it's Winterborn and Cryomancer. Yep. So it's actually mixing together just one class and one specialization. She's played a couple of games with that. We've run through, what, two, three games yeah. of this by this point? So, Not too many, so it's still pretty new. Yeah, we're still fairly new to it. But she's got a fair amount of experience with that deck relative to our experience as a whole with the game. I have I went on Board Game Geek and somebody, I'm not sure who, maybe it was Ashlyn. Ashlyn, if it was you, let me know. Hello, Ashlyn. Good to have you in the Yay. chat. Um, anyways, I'm using a pre-made deck that I found a list for on Board Game Geek. And this one is an Ebon Mage deck, and it's going to mix together the Ebon Mage and the Witch and the Warrior. So, but the, the handicap for me, as it were, is I've literally never played this deck. I just threw it together about 30 minutes ago. Took a little bit of time to look over it, but so that's how we're going to offset it. We're going to see who wins that way. Basic idea of the game is that we're going to be using our, so you have a terrain aspect in this game as well as your deck. Your deck is going to be the spells you use to interfere with the other player to heal yourself, you know, things like that. Standard stuff you've always seen. However, there is a terrain aspect to the game, and that's represented by these two little standees. Rachel has one over here. We're going to be traveling around these 16 different tiles, and many of our attacks have a range on them. So, for instance, I'm going to need to be in range of Rachel to be able to cast a card to attack her, things like that. One important thing I should note about range is we're only working in orthogonals here. Diagonal does not count for range. Like, for instance, this spot right here is actually one, two away from me. But that's the basic idea. Um, we each have, I'm going to start the game with, well, I start with 34 life, but I've got the endurance trait, which is going to add six to that. So I'm going to start at 40 life, which I'm going to use these D10. And oh, what life I guess are you I starting at? My, uh, yeah. uh, I am 36. Cool, cool, cool. So really the ultimate goal of the game is kill your opponent. That's basically what you're genuinely aiming to do throughout the entire game. And in the couple of games that we've played, they've been very close and very fierce. So we're going to see how it works out yeah. with this new deck, see how they work. Maybe some decks counter the others. I'm not sure yet. Um, basically, I think we can just hop in and I'll explain certain concepts as we go along. Tell you what, do you want to roll a D10 and see who goes first? I got a whopping one. Three. All right. Woohoo! So on your first turn, the first player, well, we both begin by drawing five cards. 
Now, there's a couple other concepts that we'll talk about when it comes to casting cards. Ca cards can be cast with your actions and your power. Those are two different resources you'll gain throughout the game. We'll kind of show that off. When I do a review of this game, we will be doing a review of this game. I'll explain the rules much more in depth then. Just basically, this is here to give you a little bit of an idea of how the game's played. So Rachel's going to begin her first turn, and you start with a number of resources. Um, you're always going to start each turn with three actions. You gain three actions at the start of your turn. You don't gain any power at the start of your turn. That has to be gained by playing cards. Another thing you start each turn with is your initiative counter, and you can use that to draw cards or move around the board, so on and so forth. All right. All right. Ready to hop in? Yep. Let's do it. Okay. So, I get... My three actions. Okay. Get my initiative token. Mm -hmm. And I don't draw a card because it's first. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to use... I'm going to use my initiative token to move there. Okay, so you can use your initiative token for a free move each turn. Normally you would need to spend your resources, and in this case you could use your actions to move around the board. But your initiative token allows you to do that for free. Paying the initiative token, that is. And then I'm going to use an action to move. Okay. So Rachel is currently within four of me. One, two, three, four. I'm over here. And I'm going to use one more to move there. Okay. Anything else? Actually, you know what? I'm going to use the other. Oh. You're within three of me. Uh, I'm so close, <laughs> but I cannot quite reach you. Fair enough. And that's a power. So usually cards it either takes an action or power or both. Yeah, I'll show you. Some of them will like give you power for using them. There's different things that happen. Uh, it's probably not going to autofocus, but if you can see in the upper left hand of this card, there's an orange orb, and in the upper right hand is a blue orb. Left is actions, right is power. Cards will always take, well, cards may take some amount of actions, but they may give you or take a certain amount of power to play. You'll see how it plays out as we continue. All right, I'm going to stay there. All right, cool. So you're good? I'm good. All right, so luckily at the end of your turn, you get to hold on to any unspent resources that you didn't use. Except for the initiative token. Exactly, that'll just refresh next turn. So you've got one action left over, and yeah. you'll get to just hold on to that till next turn. All right, cool. So now it's my turn. I'm going to start by gaining three actions. I've got my initiative token, and normally at the start of your turn, you draw a card. You just don't if you're the first player. All right, so bear with me for a minute because, like I said, I am brand new to this deck. <sighs> hmm. You know, so many decisions. Indeed. Spoiler alert, we like this game. We've yeah. had a lot of fun with it so far. It's actually been a really cool game. I'm not very good at it yet, but I, like, really want to be. <laughs> <laughs> like, determined. Yeah, I will real. figure this out. Yeah, for real. <sighs> okay. Well. I got kind of a crap opening hand, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> good. Yeah. Not a great one. Ooh, I don't want to get rid of that. Okay. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is spend my initiative token to move right here. Yeah, these are fun decks. I hope they are. I have played one game with the Cryomancer deck, and I really enjoyed it. It was a mean game. I've played with the Steward starting deck as well, but this is my first time running into decks with dual classing. So, like I said, bear with me as I inevitably screw this up. We're getting fancy this time. We're getting fancy. Okay, so one more thing I forgot to mention is you'll notice down here these cards. Each player has a ultimate ability as well as two traits. And traits can be abilities or like passive traits. The traits are, sometimes they'll be an attack you can use every turn. Sometimes, like for instance, I have the endurance trait, which just gives me a flat plus six HHP. Um... 
Rachel's got over there Icicle, which is an actual attack she can use every turn if she has the resources for it. She's got Fragments, which will bring in Silence, which is another effect we'll talk about, Control, when we get there. And then you have an Ultimate, which is a fairly, usually a fairly strong attack or gives you a fairly strong strength at certain points in the game. Rachel's will become evident later. You'll see what I'm talking about. All right, I guess I should quit yakking and actually get something done. So, hey. yeah, I'm going to move one more. Pay a resource for that. And then I'm going to play Cripple. That's going to deal five damage to you and slow you once. Do you have anything you want to counter it No. With? Okay. All right. Slow so, once. Yeah. I knew I shouldn't have gotten that close to you. No, for real. So take five damage. And so if you'll notice, Rachel just picked up a little green die for control. Um, or I mean for slow. There are three different debuffs you can apply to a player in terms of preventing them from playing certain cards. Slow is one version of that. The other is Disarm, and the other is Silence, I believe. Yes, yeah, Silence. Yeah. And uh, Slow, each one has some various effects. It prevents you from playing various types of cards. Slow is particularly nasty because it's going to prevent her from moving until she gets rid of the Slow effect. How do you get rid of the Slow effect? Well, the easiest way is just by playing resources. If you play a card and it has a cost, you can use those resources towards your Slow rating. She's got a Slow rating of 1 right now. So she needs to pay at least one resource. Like I said, that resource can be paid by playing another card or by just, you know, straight up paying it as is. But you'll see more how these effects play into the game. They're a fairly big part of most of the decks, at least the Cryomancer deck and part of my deck from what I could tell. And it adds a cool little tactical strategy consideration, I think is probably the best way to put it. So that card, Cripple, while it did take me an action, it's going to gain me a power for having successfully played it and resolved it. Give me just a second. Ashlyn, I actually had a question if you're tuning in. So the Curse Weave ability, it says you may play a non-attack card targeting an enemy if I spend one power. If I don't stun myself, do I also need to pay the cost of the card that I'm playing? Is that just added onto it, or does it mean I can ignore the cost of that non-attack card? And I'm just going to check and see if there's anything else I want to play. I think I'm good. I'm going to pass the rest of my turn. Okay, I'm good. All right, Jerry. So, gain your three actions. Okay, so you have four. Refresh your initiative. Get that. Draw a card. Cool. And I still need to pay the... Okay, cool. Curse Weave helps pay. Got it. Thanks for your help, by the way. I really appreciate it. Yes, thank you. Cool. We would like to keep, kick each other's asses legitly. <laughs> yeah. in, a, in a fair and equitable manner, yes. I'm going to smack the shit out of you. <laughs> These are important things. For real. Okay, I'm going to sleep last your ass. Oh, hell. All right, so it's one action, so I'm back to three. There we go. Mm. Um, and that gets rid of my slow, because it was one. Yeah. So deal four damage to target enemy mm. and disarm for one. Okay, I have no way to counter that at the moment, so I'm just going to have to get the damage. Take it. I'm going to be at 36. You're currently at 31, correct? Yes. Cool. And I get disarm one? Yep. So disarm... it. It's probably going to be a little hard to explain until I get into the review, but certain card types have a certain uh, icon on them. Disarm prevents me from playing ones that have a red icon on them. No stabby stabby. Yeah. I couldn't movie movie. Yeah, for real. So I have one disarm, and it, you get rid of it the same way you'd get rid of any other control, just like her slow was gotten rid of. I do like that it's pretty... Everything's pretty obvious. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's easy to read and look at. Mm -hmm. We had no problem picking this up after our first game. What little questions I've had were pretty. Some people get easy a little crazy with the symbols. I'm saying. Yeah, some people do. Like I can't keep up with all this. Yeah. Okay, so I hit you with sleep glass and I disarmed you. Yes, you did. So and that gets me a power. Okay. I did that. Now. I'm going to hit you with attrition. Okay. Which takes a power. Mm -hmm. But 
I can slow you for one. Okay. I'm going to have to take it. I have no counters to it right now. All right. And then when I slow an enemy for the first time, I get a power. So that's one of her passive traits coming in, her fragments passive trait. I'm not passive aggressive. You're passive aggressive. <laughs> So I've still got three and one. Okay. So now I'm going to ice bolt you. Okay. So that's going to take one of those and give me one of those. So, so it's deal three damage. And because I have advantage, yeah. because you are controlled, mm -hmm. uh, an extra two damage. So right. five. So we're both at 31. Now. I can count. Aren't you proud of me? Congratulations. All right, and I don't want to do this, but I can use, I can move and I can draw a card. I am going to, I'm going to use my initiative token to move okay. away from you. All right. And actually I'm going to spend one more action to move away one from more. you. <laughs> Anything else? No, I'm good. All right. See, wasn't that fun? That was enjoyable for all people. This watching. game can get very mean very quick. I will say that. All right. One day, Monster's going to sponsor us. <laughs> they need to, man. <laughs> the way we go through their energy drinks, at least the tea ones. I, I do like that one. They fuel our channel. All right, so I'm going to spend an initiative to come one closer to you. I'm going to spend another action to come closer to you. So I'm going to be at three actions. Closer. Oh, uh, you know what? I just realized I have slow. You do have slow. Yeah. Okay, so here, I'll move back here. We'll do it right. I'm going to spend one to get rid of the slow. I'm then going to use my initiative token to come one closer. I'm going to spend one more to move one closer to you. So that's going to get rid of disarm. I'm going to use, I'm going to cast blackout, which takes an action and I can discard a card to get it to resolve. So I'm going to discard another blackout and that's going to give me three power. <sighs> and yeah, screw it. I'm going to dismember you. Maybe a little early. Okay. But whatever. That's going to do eight damage to you. Ooh. Do you have a way to anything? counter it? Negatory. Oh, that hurts. So you're going to be at 23. I don't know. You're a dog. <laughs> 23? Yes, ma'am. You keep doing that. He keep Okay, there's like this special magical thing that happens when you get to 20. Yeah. That called a second wind. And he keeps like beating me up until I'm like at 21. So just before something special happens. <laughs> You're like, oh, for real. Killing me. All right, that's going to be my turn. You are up. Okay. Get my three. Get my doodad. Get my card. Okay. So I found the game plays pretty quick. Uh, most of our games have been 20 to 40 minutes, somewhere in there. I mean, it's getting a little quicker as we learn the decks and as we learn the game. I've had a lot of fun with it. I really do dig it. It like I used to be way about 15 years ago. I used to play the crap out of Magic the Gathering, and at times I miss that sort of fantasy CCG sort of thing. You know, like that sort of level of strategy in a card game. However, I neither had the time, inclination, free time, or money to really get back into Magic the Gathering. So I've looked for games that kind of fulfill somewhat of the same role. 
And this game has a little bit of that feel to some degree. It's a little bit quicker than that. It's nowhere near as intense or anything in terms of deck building. I mean, like I said, there are 800 total cards in this deck. I think, how many individual cards are there? I think like 270 or something like that. I thought I saw that on Twitter. Ashlyn, if you know, I bought you know. But uh, there's a lot of variety here, like a lot of replayability. And... I got a lot of that feeling from Netrunner, but I missed the fantasy aspect. You know, like, I really do dig the fantasy aspect, so this game has kind of given me more of that feel. So far, I've had a lot of fun with it. All right, thanks for letting me blab on. What you got? No worries. Okay. I'm going to hit you with Attrition. Slow you for one. Yeah, I'm going to have to take it. Then I'm going to use my token to move there. Okay. Then I'm going to use Winter Tide. Great. There we go. To make this difficult terrain. Okay. So what she just did was, like she said, made a certain tile difficult terrain. All that really means in the game in terms of right now for movement is it costs one more resource to move on to that spot. There are some other cards that kind of, like enchantments and stuff like that, that will use difficult terrain to cause certain effects. And if we get around to them, you'll see them pop in. We'll explain them then. And then I'm going to use Ice Bolt. Great. So that's, that's five like damage. Five damage, yeah. All right, I'm at 26. Oh, and I get a power for slowing you. Yes, you do. Okay, yeah, so Ashlyn. I, it is Ashlyn, right? I'm saying that right. I hope so. Anyways, three, roughly 300 unique cards. So there is a lot of variety in here. You get six classes and 12 different specializations. And trust me, I, you could spend a lot of time building custom decks with this. All right. One more. I'm going to icicle you. Okay. The perfect murder weapon, by the way. <laughs> so that's going to be what? Three more damage? Three. Okay. I'm at 23. Okay. I'm good now. All right. And don't clobbering you. You've gotten better with that deck. Mwah. Hmm. Aislinn. Great. Thank you. That's how I actually thought it was first, but I Googled it because I wasn't sure. I knew it was like an Irish name and or Scottish. I hope I didn't get that wrong. Aislinn it is. You got it. Sorry about the mispronunciation. Okay, so I'm going to start off by playing... I'm going to use my Curse Weave ability to play Dark Sigil. So what it's going to do is I'm going to spend the power to play it, but Curse Weave is going to give me the power back if it goes through. Attach to target enemy until the start of your next turn. If they... If you would receive control, they instead receive the control. I just realized I need to spend a resource first to get rid of my slow. There we go. I've got that sorted out. Okay, so now we're good. Attach the target enemy until the start of your next turn. If they, if you would receive control, they instead receive the control. So until your next turn, if you try to slow me or any sort of other control, it goes on to you instead of me. Oh, that's annoying. Yeah, and that's going to attach to you. Okay. And then, do you have anything to counter it? You good? No. I'm good. Okay, so I'm going to get the power back from that. Okay. <sighs> I should have been... Okay. Give me just a second. I'm going to use my initiative to draw a card. Yeah, 
yeah, I'm going to have to do this. I really need the power. I'm going to black out my battle lust to gain three more power. And finally, I am going to walk one away from you. I'm running away. No, running away, eh? Okay, I'm good. Right. Oh, thanks. Yeah, our whole studio is Fallout themed. Uh, I don't know if you've seen it. Go watch our Fallout review. You'll see Fallout board game review. You'll see like how much I love that stinking game. But uh, yeah, we've got a whole all sorts of Fallout stuff around. You should post a picture of the that box you built, the yeah. Vault Tech box. I yeah, I don't think I have. I'll put it on the I Instagram at some either. point. Okay. So do y'all have plans for, I mean, if you can talk about it, do y'all have plans for expansions for this game or, uh, you know, additional mechanics and stuff? I know you kind of mentioned a little bit about that in some of our email, but if you can talk about them, what plans for expansions do you have for this game? What you got? I'm going to spin that to draw a card. Okay. That was not helpful. Can you use actions to draw a card? No. No. Okay. Uh-oh. Are we live? Yeah, okay. Let's see. Okay. Cool. Oh, there's Do App. Hey! What's going on, man? It's been a minute. We've been incredibly busy with real life and shit. Hope you're doing well. What you got going on? What nefarious thing? I don't, don't want to gonna... walk into my own. <laughs> you did this. I did this. You're the one who ruined the environment. You might as well live with it. It's not ruined. The CIA did not party van me, and I will be talking about that soon. I know I released that cryptic yeah. ass video. I will be talking about that soon. All right. So you're going to spend two to go over there? Yes. Okay. And I guess I'm just going to icicle you. Okay. So that's going to do two damage. You got it. I am at 21. Nice, nice, nice. So it looks like some of the expansions coming out for this, some of the plans are going to add a couple new mechanics and a lot more customization. So. Well, cool. So by the time... We finished through all yeah, the yeah, ones we've already got. Yeah. There'll be more. Exactly. So that's perfect. No. Did you have anything else you wanted to do? Um, pout quietly pout. in the right. corner. Fair enough. So Dark Sigil is going <laughs> to go away. Thank God. Okay. So. All right, um, what terrible thing are you planning? Some pretty terrible stuff. Oh, I'm dear. However. I'm going to use my initiative to draw a card. Wow. Okay. Well, I guess I'm going to have to go for it then. I'm going to spend an action to come to you. If you hear our little doggy going crazy in the background, she just wants attention. Don't worry, we will let her out and give her plenty of pets as soon as we're done with the game. Or to befriend a kitty cat. Yeah, there may be something outside the window. For some reason, 
Cats don't seem to like her too much. <laughs> yeah, we have a, if you don't know, Imagine. we have a Rottweiler. So, cats are fairly afraid of her. Okay, so I'm going to play Dismember. And that's going to be... Not that again. Yeah, that again. So that's going to do eight damage to you. Unless you can't forbid it. Fifteen? Okay, so... That's going to... So when you hit 20 life or go below 20 life in this game, there's a mechanic called Second Wind, which allows you to draw a number of cards, and if you have a trait that does something with it, in Rachel's case, her ultimate, it's going to trigger, and she's going to do some nasty shit to me. So, first off, let's handle your ultimate, your Winter Burst. When you Second Wind, gain a power. Okay, I you're... already have at the limit of power. Yeah, you have five power, so that's your limit. And travel other players all... Up to one tile away from you. Cool. Yep. All right. Get so away. Now you draw five cards. Keep them separate from your hand. You're going to keep two and put three on the bottom of your deck. Now it's still my turn, so I'm going to plan out the rest of what I've got. Okay. I'm going on. One more. <laughs> there goes another finger. Yeah, no joke. I should have used my ultimate on that now that I'm thinking about it. Oh well, I'll get around to it. Yeah, I'm looking pretty good on that. Dig the art in this game too. Overall, like like I said, spoiler alert, we like the game. Um, I definitely want to play some more of it, see how certain combos of certain characters work out and stuff like that. And our review should be out within the next two weeks. We're going to be at a con this weekend for, like, literally tomorrow I leave for the con. And we're going to be down in Atlanta, basically, until Sunday. So we'll be at the Southern Fried Gaming Expo. Yeah, it's supposed to be like a mini mag fest. Yeah. We've never been before, but it looks like it's going to be pretty good. Yeah. They and have, they like, have Star Trek pinball, so I'm very excited. For real. It's next generation. So it won't be as effective as, as when I did my Spock costume, but... I'm good. Uh, why don't you plan out your turn, talk to the stream real quick. I'm going to go see what our dog is going off about. Okay. She doesn't work that. Sorry, guys, but... Angry pupper. You guys will tell on me if I look at his cards, won't you? That's fair. I'm going to assess my situation. I can't blame her. It was a deer running around her backyard. Oh, was on it? On the other side of the fence. Was it on the... Was it close to the fence? Sort of, yeah. On the on, little... On the side of our lake. Anyways, so what you got going on? I think she thinks that deer are big dogs. <laughs> Okay, are you done with your turn? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Sorry, I should have let you know. No, nah, no worries. Cool. So, gain your three actions. Alrighty. Draw your card and refresh your initiative. Okay, I have no evil things anymore. I've been saving up for this. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm so excited. You're gonna blow your load all at once. Avalanche. Oh shit. And a landslide will bring yeah, you down. Exactly. Okay. Um, so it's deal ten damage mm -hmm. and slow for two. Oh, I don't have advantage. <sighs> yeah, unfortunately, because that would damn near kill me. Alright, so ten damage and two slow. Yes. Ouch. Like I said, there's some nasty, nasty burst damage in this game. So I'm going to be at 11. That triggers my second win. So I don't have an ability that works with it. I just get to draw five. And go ahead and plan out the rest of your turn. Okay. I totally forgot to do something last turn. Like I said, this is literally my first time playing this deck. I would like another game with it to really know what I'm going to do. Oh, and I did slow you. Yeah, you did. For how much? Two. Two. Okay. So you're 
Yeah, I'm a bit jealous of the fact that you're playing the Winter Form deck. I really enjoy it. Wait, you want to be Jon Snow? Get out of here. <laughs> I'm Jon Snow. And I love myself. <laughs> and he gave it the rest to come back. Good job. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to play Sleep Blast. All right. One, two. So it's four damage mm -hmm. and one disarm. Four damage and one disarm? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to be a seven. <gasps> yeah, that's what I, I can do it. Go I ahead. think I can kill you. Seriously? Oh, no. Maybe not. What oh, you got? God. So you know your Icicle could do what? Three damage? Oh, you got another oh. card. Go ahead. No. Okay. I'm going to do <laughs> the Rim Shock. Mm -hmm. So that puts me at zero and one. But it does six damage. Mm -hmm. And since I have advantage, too slow. Good God. You too slow. I too slow. Okay, so I'm up to four slow. And one life. Oh, is there anything? Oh, yeah, because you can't icicle me. You're out of actions. Damn. I'm going to... Mm -hmm. You've put a hell of a lot of control on me. I'm going to draw a card. Okay. Anything else? <sighs> Nothing. All Damn. Right. Cool. <laughs> what to try, though? Mm, um, I played this deck poorly this time around. Then again, it was literally my first time around, so... Yeah, I played it poorly this time around. Mm, I feel like I could have done better, too. Oh, See, that's that's, okay. no that's the thing. It's like, mm -hmm. the more you play, you're like, oh, no, I figured out how I should do this now. Yeah, I could do it better. Do it again. Let's play again. Exactly. I'm still standing. Maybe I can work this out. <laughs> I feel like if I, uh, just a small breeze came by, yeah. you would fall over. Yeah, I know. Ugh. Okay. I'm probably not going to be able to straight up kill you, but I'm going to at least try something. Okay. So the first thing I've got to do... Oh, no. This isn't going to work because you slowed me for four. I froze your feet. Yes, you did. Yeah, I'm going to be pretty screwed. <sighs> oh, I forgot to gain my three actions. I wonder if you, yeah, you could still move an icicle me next turn. I'm so dead. Let's see here. Okay, so I've got four actions, one power, but I'm slowed. I have control in basically the same amount and literally don't have enough to play any of my cards. I can't play a card unless I have a valid target for it. And... All right, I'm just gonna, yeah, this is cheese, but screw it. I'm gonna spend all of it to clear this, and then I'm gonna use my initiative to move away one. <gasps> but yeah, but I think you can still catch me next time. You time, cheap though. bastard! <laughs> <laughs> you can catch me next time. I'm coming after you. Yeah, for all. All right, go ahead. All right. You might give me one more game after this one? No, not all at right, all. cool, thanks. I know this deck a little better now. I see what I was supposed to do with it. All right. Come let's, on over. Let's not get fancy. Yeah, I just icicle. Me. I'm an icicle. All right, cool. Good game. So that's going to be me dead for this game. Yes. However, I think I've figured out what's going on with this deck. So I'm going to go ahead and reset to 40 life. We'll I'm especially pleased because he's beaten me twice in a row now. So no, was, you won the first game. Well, no, but then... Oh, yeah. Yeah, you yeah, beat yeah. me the last two. Yeah, you're right. So, I've uh, been a little close. <laughs> okay. Let me see. Let's 
Sorry. All right. Yeah, we no said we were indeed. just gonna play one game. Yeah, well. <laughs> that was until I got beat. <laughs> <laughs> we always say we're just gonna play one For game. Own. Exactly. All right, resetting everything. Do you mind if I go first this time? Yeah. Cool. Okay, starting a new game. So we will be putting the VOD of this on our YouTube. I have to, because of Twitch partnership rules, I have to wait a day, but so I'll put it up tomorrow. I'll just upload it tonight and set it to release tomorrow. Like I said, we're going to be out of town for the weekend. I do have a couple of reviews I'm working on and stuff like that, but we've got to take a break. I've got to go do media coverage for Southern Front. All right, so this is a little more like it. This I can jive with. Okay, start with my three actions. I'm going to begin by playing Banner of the Warrior. So Banner of the Warrior is an aura card. And it allows me to attach it to one of these terrain tiles, terrain cards, as it were, on the board. And I'm going to attach it right here. And what it does is if I start my turn on this tile, this specific tile, or one of the tiles orthogonally next to it, like right here, then I gain an extra power. So it also gives me a power for having played the card. Yeah, man, that, like, I thought the starter, quite often in a game, you get the starter decks, and they, they're they fine for the first couple of games, but then they just straight up suck, let's be real. Like, I mean, the, the starter decks, as you play in Netrunner, you get obliterated if you play them anywhere else. However, and like I said, I don't have a lot of experience with this, but that deck right there is mean, man. It's got some serious burst damage in it. Okay, then I'm going to, I'm going to spend one to move right here. And then I'm going to use my initiative to draw a card. And I am good. You are up. All right. Get my three, get my token, get my card. Okay. Use my token. I'm going to use two. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I'm going to use my last one to sleep blast you. You got it. Which is four damage mm -hmm. and a disarm for one. Four damage and a disarm for one. Give me one of your arms. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to be at 36 with one disarm. Anything else? Okay. Okay. So because of Banner of the Warrior, I'm going to gain a power this turn. Sounds like a great way to potentially ruin a relationship. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be taking this game to the con we're going to, and part of our extended gaming group is going to be there, so I'm going to try a 2v2 game and see how that plays out. All right, I call it Keel. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> okay, so looking at what I've got going on. Okay, first things first, I'm going to use Curse Weave to put Dark Sigil on you. This is that card I played earlier that if you put any control on me next turn, it goes on to you. And basically, I spend a power to play it, but Curse Weave gives you a power back, so it's a free card for me. Set. I'm going to use my initiative to walk right here. I'm going to warrior strike you. 
And I'm going to use my... Yeah, I'm going to use my Night Infusion, which is my ultimate ability. So that takes me one power to play. Warrior Strike is going to cost me one to play. And that's going to deal six damage to you unless you can counter it. Six? Yeah, do you have anything you want to cast to counter it? Oh. Oh. All right, so you're going to take six damage. Then you get two more damage from my ultimate, and I heal one thanks to it. I should be at 36, not 76. So I'm going to be at 37. Okay. And then I get a power back for it because it resolved. And let's see here. Then I'm going to use my final action... To cost battle lust, to cast battle lust, which is going to give me two more power. No, pardon me, three more. I'm going to be at five. Jeez, oh man! It gives you two, and then if you resolve an attack card this turn, gain an additional. Right. Okay. So I am at zero and five. Monopoly. Uh, no, get on diplomacy level, scrub. <laughs> I've seen people damn near call their divorce attorneys over that shit. We're we're literally just talking about how we have this one friend that he's like he's great to hang out with unless you play something like Monopoly with him. Oh yeah. In which case it's just not worth it. Yeah, total asshole if like, you play Monopoly with him. Okay, I am good. It's become like a metaphor for life. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Black Mama, did you like sub or follow us or something? If the I'm not sure my Streamlabs chat alerts weren't working perfectly earlier, so I'll have to check them out. But if you did, if you followed us, thanks so much, man. I really appreciate it. Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. So get your three actions. Draw your card and refresh your initiative. And sleep past is... That should be in your discard, right? Yeah. That was last yeah. Okay, cool. You know what I just realized? I should have paid an additional power to clear that warrior strike. I did in there somewhere, though, because I spent it. All right. You donated $5 to the winner. No joke. Thank you so much. That's hey, awesome. I appreciate it. We really do appreciate it, man. I'm going to count that as my win, not his. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were having, like I said, like our bandwidth is really low tonight, too. Normally, we can stream at about 5K bandwidth. But tonight it's like limited to two. We're having a little bit of technical issues as we described at the start of the stream. So please don't judge everything by the quality of this one. But, you know, we had the designer coming in, so I definitely wanted to go live when we could. It's a constant state of improvement. You yeah, know, for real. Making things better. Exactly. All right. Fight what you against got going entropy. On? Um, <laughs> okay. So since you have changed my plans ever so slightly. Um, I'm going to play Snow Slide. Okay. So that makes a target tile difficult ter terrain, correct? Yes. Which one? So I'm going to make that one difficult. You can't target one that a player is on. Oh. Yeah. That. Change my mind. Shiny. Do you want to take that back? I'm okay with that. Since yeah. Yeah. Thank you. That's okay. Like I said, we're still learning the game. I'm not going to be a stickler about it. That should be a three, right? Did well, how much up? did that... Did you get your three at the start of the turn? I did. But did I put it on the wrong thing? Because all I did was... Try and play Snow Slide, right? Well, how much does it cost? One. Then I, I, I'm just going to have to say you should be a three. I don't know for Is sure. Is anyone else paying more attention to me than I was? <laughs> <laughs> Let's roll with it. Three it is. Okay. I, I really think I'm being right. Cool. Fine. <sighs> okay. In which case... Here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to icicle you. Okay. So that's going to be two damage? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to be at 35. Then I'm going to hailstorm you. 
So that cause one and two. Okay. Deal five damage to a target enemy and make the target tile difficult terrain. Okay. There. I'm going to get to do what I want anyway. I don't... I'm not sure you can target. Let's see. No, no, no. I understand that. I, can you... Well, we've got the designer. Can she target the tile I'm currently on to make it difficult terrain? Let's see. <laughs> All right, so it's going to be five damage to me. I can't counter it, so that's going to be 30 on that. And we'll see. We can keep rolling. She's going to, it's you know, there's a delay. So what else you got? We'll flip it if. We, okay, yes, she can. Yes. Cool. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> I know that was just for me, you <laughs> Okay, and I've got one. I've got one tiny power left. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah! Or by tiny. by the way, you can only use your traits once per turn. So you use your icicle. We can just yeah yeah. Sorry. Don't say tap. That's. <laughs> Do you know about all that? I'll no. tell you later. Like I think Wizards of the Coast owns the trademark tap, so we're not supposed oh, to. Oh lord! Yeah, it's. Look, I can't keep up with all you people's rules. Yeah, for real. Turn the card in a horizontal direction. <laughs> Avoid I it. shall make my card slightly <laughs> askew. <laughs> Avoiding all... All T words. Litigious, yeah. <laughs> oh, I want so badly to do something else to you, but I just can't. Um, I can move. Gonna run away? You got it. Anything else? No dancing. Okay. I'm going to draw a card. All right. I gain oh, a power. goes away. Yes, yes. Take that foul card Thank away. You. Sorry, I forgot about that. Um, I would gain a power because I'm next to the banner of the warrior card, but I'm already at my cap. So... Okay, I'm going to spend my initiative token to come closer to you. I'm going to use my ultimate ability to play Warrior Strike. So, that's going to cost me an energy too. I'll be down at four. Do, 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 do. Can you counter it? No. Okay. That's going to be six damage to you. Owie. And then I gain a power back. I gain a life from my ultimate. Pardon me. I'm at 31. And then I'm going to gain one power back from the warrior strike. Oh, man. I have got to hit you. A lot. A lot. <laughs> like, oh. And I've used that. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to go and do it. Dismember. Oh, crap. Right, one and two. That's going to do eight damage to you. Uh. Got nothing? All right, so you're going to be at 14. That's going to gain you a power from your ultimate, from your winter burst. And then you get to push me one away. I'm guessing you want to put me there. Hell yeah. You got it. And then draw five, keep two, put three on the bottom of your deck. Hmm. And... Yeah, that's going to be my turn. Dismembering people is cool. It can be awesome. It's a wholesome family activity. <laughs> <laughs> I dig the second win mechanic. Where did Was there something that you used in an inspiration for that? Was there a specific, like, uh... 
I guess I should say, did you find the game needed it and you added it in, or was it something that you had as a concept going into the design of the game? Was I guess maybe a better way to put that was, was it an original plan or was it a reaction to the game playing as it does? Did you figure out your cards? I'm sorry. No, you're okay. Cool. That was hard. That was stressful. <laughs> it is a hard choice, man, to draft those at the end. Okay, I am good. It is your turn. Okay. Okay, quick question. Go ahead. So, if it's your turn, mm -hmm. and I've got an instant ability, mm -hmm. I can use that mm -hmm. whenever. Yeah, in reaction to me playing your right. card. Yeah, okay, correctly. just making sure. Yep. Because there's that, and then there's the, like, mm -hmm. ability mm -hmm. debuffs. And instant stuff is like the that. stuff that's but like anything counters. instant. Can be okay. played on my turn. You can play it on your turn as well. Can I throw instant grits at you? Uh, only if you pay me more. I don't pay you at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's the keyword more. <laughs> so if I gave you a quarter, I could throw instant grits at you for yeah, hurting sure, me. whatever, I'm cheap. Okay. Okay, so gain your actions. Doop. Doop. And untap. Or, pardon me, unnonspecified horizontal movement of your icicle card. Cool. Yeah. I've already pissed off Wizards of the Coast enough by making fun of Hasbro. Hasbro made fun of themselves. That's true. Yeah, I think I might have too many cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. As long as you end your turn at seven or less, you'll be fine. You can okay. hold eight during your turn. Okay. So if you were to cast Sounds good one. for a minute. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. I I'm gonna play Blizzard. Mm -hmm. Which oh, that's a main card. Yeah, so it's an aura I attach to myself. Mm -hmm. That as long as he's on terrain. Yeah. Difficult terrain in this case is what that means. Yeah. Yeah. Difficult terrain. Mm -hmm. Then he's gonna get five damage at the end of my turn. Okay. Cool. So I like that about it. Yeah. I never. I don't know where to put this though. Put it there. Set it over here on this side of the board, just on your side of the table. There you go. There yeah, that's perfect. Now we'll remember it. You can always look there. Then I want to throw things at you. Yeah, definitely not tap. <laughs> That's no, what we're doing no. it from now on. I don't even know what that word means. That's... No, I can't do that yet. So that's cool. So you had the concept in mind, but as the game developed, you found it needed a little more punch. Yeah, I dig it. It's a cool concept. Like, I really like the fact that it does add, like, a final act to the game, the second win mechanic. Yeah, I, I have to say that's a good touch. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to Icicle you. Okay, cool. So how much damage is that going to do? I'm not controlled, two, so just two? Just okay. two. I'm going to be at 29. All right. Then... I'm going to Rim Shock you. Rhyme Shock. I know what I said. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so six damage, mm -hmm. and I don't have advantage. Okay, so, so just six. six. Okay, yeah. I'll be at 23. Is there any way I could have done that better? I don't know. Not really. Three, four, five. <sighs> well, that's not really gonna help me, is it? I'm gonna smack your face next turn. I'm, I'm just letting you know. It's coming. 
Oh, I'm gonna use my <laughs> and then and I'm gonna move over here. <laughs> All right, cool. You good? Yes. Okay, so your blizzard is gonna do five more damage to me, yes. which is gonna put me at eighteen. So it's my turn for a second. Uh-oh. Give me them sweet cards. Oh, Give me them sweet cards. One, two, <laughs> three, four, five. Okay. Cool. Okay. So now it's my turn. Yes. Great. I'm going to gain up to four. I'm going to gain a power from my banner of the warrior. My initiative resets. And now I'm going to spend my initiative to move one. I'm going to spend an action to move one. Howdy. Hey. I'm now going to cast Life Drain, which is going to do, let's see, reduce me to two. And it's going to do three damage to you. No counter? No. Okay, so that's going to gain me another power. You're at 11 life? Yes. Cool. I'm going to use... Ooh, ooh, that's a choice. Ooh, that's a choice. Yeah, okay. Dismember. And it is actually going to do 13 damage to you, enough to kill you, because it has frenzy. If you're past your second one, oh, it does Oh, no! Five Do you have anything to counter it? No! Really? Crap. Shit. I thought, I swore you were holding on to a counter. What's that instant card you've got? Well, but I don't have enough to use ah, it. You ran yourself into the ground. Good game. Shit. I really that was think a good game. game. Yeah, so it's 9.30. I think we're going to have to go ahead and call it a night because we've got a hell of a lot of packing and stuff to do. All right, we'll call yeah. it a draw. Aislinn, thank you so much for tuning in and answering some of our questions. And everybody else, thanks so much for dropping by. Like I said, this VOD will be on our channel probably tomorrow evening. I, I have to wait 24 hours for Twitch, blah, 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 blah. Um. You know, like I said, preliminary thoughts on this game. We really dig it so far. I've really enjoyed it. I've had a lot of fun with it. I've had no problems really learning the game or running through it or anything like that. I do want to play a four-player version. I think that could be incredibly tactical and the map would get that much tighter and be a lot meaner. It's a quick little but mean and strategic enough game. There's enough meat on the bone here to really enjoy it. And I feel like I could delve much much deeper into this game i hope i have the time to do that i mean normally playing as many games as we do with review copies and stuff i don't necessarily get to delve as deep into a game as i'd like but this one makes me really feel like i want to i want to spend some time playing this game i really like yeah. the different decks any thoughts from you no really i just i kind of can't wait to get to play some more of the decks yeah, yeah like we were yeah. trying to just figure it out mm -hmm. and be able to play it yeah but now now we've got the idea so i want to try it out all the other ones totally well like i said thank you so much for tuning in sorry to cut the stream a little short tonight but like i said we're leaving town tomorrow to some degree i mean not a huge drive for us but we still got to get everything together and i need to go let my dog out to try to eat a deer <laughs> so <laughs> we'll see if she succeeds we won't let her we promise yeah for real uh, thanks so much for tuning in. Really do appreciate it. Really dig this game. And like I said, our review should be out in a week or two. It depends on, I've got a couple ideas for filming this. We're going to see how long it takes to get everything together. I hope all of you have a wonderful night. Enjoy your games and have a great weekend. Thanks for tuning in and y'all take it easy.